I recently took forward a private member's law on financial education and inclusion. So my contribution um, to the Financial Inclusion Commission um, was around that um, type of uh, experience with legislation, uh, what I was proposing um, in terms of in ingraining um, financial education within our education system and also then um, encouraging local authorities via financial inclusion plans to do much more um, in relation to this uh, agenda. We've only recently seen, I think, financial inclusion rise up uh, the political agenda and I think that's mostly to do with the fact that people are struggling. But what I'd like to see is a sustained interest in this agenda, um, not just when times are, da are bad. This is a, a core like life skill after all and we need to see for, the, for, for years to come uh, financial education and inclusion uh, as a key part of everything that we do. Um, people in my area are struggling um, but if they do have the skills and the power um, to administer their own finances I sincerely believe they will have a, a more prosperous life and that will then uh, feed back into the local economy as well. Today I talked about how there is an incredible link between financial inclusion and financial capability and the main part of my role is to try and increase financial capability in young people. Um, I manage the Money for Life project for Wales um, and that involves us um, working with 16 to 24 year olds by giving them grants and um, letting them go out into their communities with money management projects and we also offer qualification for community workers to do with financial capability. I've seen such a difference in young people by being involved in a creative way in financial capability and we talked a lot about that. Our members probably house around 60% of the, the financially excluded people um, in Wales. So it's really, really um, an, a very important issue for us. And the thing that's actually brought financial exclusion and, and lack of financial capability um, very much into the sharp focus for us is uh, probably welfare reform. Um, with universal credit, uh, benefit claimants are expected to, to actually be um, probably a lot more savvy, financially savvy, than, than they were previously. And they're expected to be able to budget better. They're expected to be able to manage online accounts. Um, and they're expected to, to have a bank account. And, and not, not all people do. Um, so for us, I think today, it was about raising that issue and saying, you know, we need more um, funding to tackle this issue we need to reach um, rural areas particularly um, who suffer from a, a, a much higher level of digital exclusion and financial exclusion. One of the big challenges that we're facing obviously is um, digital access. We feel digital and financial inclusion are linked, uh, very much linked uh, and if people don't have access to digital services whether it's they don't have the IT themselves or they're in um, an area that doesn't have internet or Wi-Fi um, that actually we help to provide those services so they get same access to the kind of things that are available to other customers otherwise we're going to have a two-tier system. Um, things like fuel bills are cheaper online if you pay by direct debit or if you've got a bank account sorry, and pay by direct debit. Um, information about those kinds of services, the main devices of products are online, some people can't get those. So all that work is going on out in there at, um, uh, around at the moment. Um, but the main barrier, as I said, I think for us is uh, with funding cuts that we're having to make some really difficult decisions about what's funded going forward. Um, this is an area that we see that really should be, should be growing um, as universal credit um, starts to come along and personal independence payment existing personal independent payments customers start to migrate over um, so I think we need this industry this part of the sector to grow and unfortunately with funding cuts we don't actually know how we're going to achieve that so we're using lots of or looking at different innovative ways of trying to deliver that going forward.